Hi guys, Tara here with another Crafting with Curly Cues video. Today I am going to be using the Simon Says Stamp and Lawn Fawn Stamp Timber Exclusive stamp set to create this cute little Christmas tag. So today I'm going to be busting out a bunch of Lawn Fawn products from their winter release. I've got the um, stitched circle tag dies, some snowflake dies, the snowy backdrops, and then that adorable Merry Christmas from the Simon Says Stamp Lawn Fawn exclusive release that's got some really cute mice with like a cheese Christmas tree. It's super fun. So I'm going to take that largest stitch circle tag and I'm going to cut that out of some Simon Says Stamp Schoolhouse Red cardstock as well as some Nina 110 pound solar white cardstock. And then I'm going to take the Lawn Fawn stitched hillside borders and I'm going to cut that white tag to create a um, little hillside to set my scene on. So I'm just kind of figuring out here how the spacing is going to work for this and I'm going to bust out that stamp set and take the sentiment that I want to use which is a super cute little have a mice holiday. Lots of good puns in this stamp set and lots of ways that you can use the different pieces of sentiments together to create different different um, sentiments, so it's really fun. I think there's some of this set still available over at Simon Says Stamp. I will link to it over at my blog. If it's still there, you should definitely snag it if you like it because it will only be available this month. I find that the Stamp Timber exclusive sets are always super fun. So now that I have that um, hillside slope cut out there, I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping some of the images for my little scene. And I'm going to start with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I will be using my Copic markers later. So I wanna make sure I use that Copic friendly ink. And first I'm going to take the little um, cheesy Christmas tree and I'm going to stamp it on some of that extra Nina white cardstock. So I'm gonna color it and then fussy cut it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp that tree again. Um, I'm going to wipe off the star with a baby wipe because I don't want that to stamp on my actual little tag here. And I am going to stamp this on the tag. And originally my plan with this was because I was going to do some fancy embossing with the star. I didn't end up doing that. And what I really end up doing in the end is covering up the stamp that I put on the ornament. I was just going to use it as a placement guide, but I didn't end up doing that. So now I've also stamped one of those cute little mice holding a present on some of that Nina. And now I'm going to do some really simple, quick um, Copic coloring. I've put the caps of the colors that I'm using there so that if you're interested, you can go ahead and see what colors I'm using. I'm starting with a little bit of YR14 for this cheesy tree. And I'm just going to put that um, lightest color in some of my areas with my shadow. I have left some of the areas white. The reason that I do this is so that when I go over at the end with my final layer, I have that white spot ends up lighter than everything else. So it kind of adds an extra element of dimension without having to add an extra color. So it's a really nice way to kind of stretch your Copic markers. So this looks like this is some YR68 and this is gonna be my mid-tone. So I'm just kind of coming in where I want a little bit more shadowing there. And then finally with my um, YR18, which is my darkest, it's going to just go right where those shadows are really heavy. And then I also kind of covered in the holes and then the stump with some of the, the darker. Because I wasn't sure, I didn't want to make the stump brown because I don't think that a cheese tree would have a brown stump. But considering I've never seen a cheese tree, I wasn't really sure what to do with that. So I just made it the darkest shade of orange and called it good. So now you can see I'm blending back out with my lightest color. And you can see what I mean by when you go over that white, it stays lighter even than all the rest of your light color. So it kind of adds a little bit of extra dimension, which is super fun. So now that my little cheese tree is all darkened in there and nice and colored, I'm going to move on to my little mouse. Um, I think these little mice are super cute. They're really easy to color and... They always look they always look really cute. Like I've colored a couple of different ones and I like it every time. So I'm going to use a couple of gray tones and I forgot my cap, but don't worry, I'll stick it out there in a minute. This is the C1. Um, you can see I'm leaving those white spaces again so that I get some extra darkness. And then I'm gonna come in with my C3 and just do a little bit of shadowing to make him a little bit darker. I really like coloring the mice gray. I've tried some browns and the grays always end up being my favorite. So. I'm pretty excited to start making some Christmas tags. I know it's really super early and I was a little bit hesitant to do this video already, but all these amazing, adorable stamp sets are coming out for the holidays and 
it's never too early to start stocking up on Christmas tags and Christmas cards. So I'm just going to, you know, get that out of the way and just admit that there's going to be some holiday stuff coming up here. So I went back in with my C3 after I blended just to put a little bit more shadow in there and darken some spots up again. And now I'm going to take an R20 and I'm going to color in his little ear and then add a little bit of pink to his tiny little mouse cheek. And then I thought that that ear was looking kind of bright there. So after I blend out the cheek color, I'm going to just put my C1 right over the top of that ear and that kind of dulls out that pink a little bit so it's not so like in your face. And then I went super traditional on this card and I went red and green Christmas. So now I've got a couple of green tones. I'm just going to color this little tiny package in. I'm just going to use two colors. It's so small you can barely even see the shading. After I finished I was like, was that really worth shading? But I think it is. It gives everything a little bit of extra dimension. So um, I colored the little present green and then I'm going to take a couple red tones and color the little ribbon on the present to match the background of the tag that we're creating here. So um, that's only going to take two colors there and just that super dark red will add just enough shadow to really give that some dimension. So now all the coloring is done super quick, super easy and I can start assembling my tag. So first I'm gonna fussy cut out the little tree as well as the little mouse. And one thing that I am going to say is that I cut the tail off the mouse and I'm going to fix that later, but in the meantime he looks like a little um, bare bummed hamster. He doesn't even look like a mouse. So now I'm taking my black soot distress marker and I am going to color on the sides of my fussy cut images to make them look like they were cut out perfectly. You can use any black brush tip marker for this. It doesn't have to be a black soot. Um, I definitely have one of these markers that I use just for this because I find that it kind of roughs up the side of my marker a little bit but this was an extra so I just use it just for this purpose and then it doesn't affect any of my other coloring. So next I'm going to go ahead and put my sentiment on and I want to do a two-tone sentiment with those really cool fonts that I have to work with. So I'm going to take my powder bag and I'm just going to put some of that powder on the little snowbank piece so that I can do some embossing and not have to worry about stray embossing powder all over the place. So first what I'm going to do here is kind of do a little bit of a layout. I did kind of, you can tell, with where I stamped my tree on the tag where I wanted to put it, I kind of forgot about the sentiment and it obviously wasn't gonna work with the tree down that low cause it was gonna cover up my whole sentiment. So before I started stamping, I wanted to make sure that I was gonna be able to cover up that tree stamp I had put on the tag and um, not have any of that showing. So now I'm just gonna take my Versamark ink and I'm going to take that mice and just stamp that on that white little hillside there. And then I have this really cool um, Zing embossing powder and it is glittery green. So it's a green embossing powder with flakes of green glitter in it so that it has lots of sparkle and shine. This is the first time I've used it and I'm really excited. I bought the green and the red for all my holiday card making, tag making shenanigans. So I'm pretty stoked about the way that it turned out. I did have some stray pieces of embossing powder in spite of my powder bag. So I just took a, bri a dry paintbrush and just brushed all those extra pieces off there. So I went ahead and heat that with my heat tool. And now I'm just gonna add the have a and holiday around the word mice. And I'm just using my um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that so that it matches all the other stamping. So now I've got my sentiment on there and I really love the way that that green word kind of pops and looks different than the other, other words. Two-tone sentiments I think are always really fun and always add something special to a project. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of snazziness. Um, in addition to my red and green sparkly powder, I went a little embossing powder crazy and I found this stampendous um, sparkly iridescent embossing powder and I wasn't sure to be honest if it was going to be clear or white so I wanted to kind of test it. I thought this was a good project to test it out on. So I'm using the to and from from one of the um, tag urit stamp sets from Lawn Fawn. I believe this is the the thanks set and I'm just going to go ahead and take my Simon Says Stamp um, white pigment ink and just stamp the to and from on the back of my tag. And now here's that shiny um, iridescent embossing powder. And because this white ink is pigment ink, it stays wet for a little while. So I was able to sprinkle that embossing powder on there um, while it was still wet and then heat set that with my heat tool to create this really cool 
sort of sparkly. It turns out that this powder is clear, so the white ink, um, it kind of turned a little bit pinkish, clear, iridescent. I don't know, it looks really cool. So now I'm taking the snowy backdrops and I am just going to stamp that on the back piece of my tag. I did tape off the little hole where the string goes because I didn't want that to have the snow on it. And I stamped that also in the white pigment ink and I'm going to put the same sparkly embossing powder all over all those little snow snowdrops. This stamp set is super fun. Lawn Fun had a real awesome fall winter release. I'm pretty pleased with almost every single set that came out so I can't wait to play with all of it. So now I'm going to put my snow bank in front and now I've got that really cool sparkly shiny snowy background behind my little snow bank and I can add all my little pieces on there and create this adorable little scene. So here I'm going to give my little mouse back his tail. So I positioned him on the tag where I want him and I'm going to ink up the same mouse stamp with my tuxedo ink and then I'm just going to come right over the top and just stamp that on there. You can see I don't get a very good impression, that's totally fine, I got his tail and that's all that I need because I'm just going to pop this little mouse right on top of that stamp so you're not even going to know it's there. Um, but you will be able to see his tail which is nice so he's no longer a little hamster guy. So here are some um, Best Creation foam squares and I'm just going to take those and pop my little mouse up and you can see now that it's in front of that stamp that you can't even tell the stamp is there and voila, tail is back on Mr. Mouse. So the little tree gets to be popped up as well here and I have a heck of a time. It's pretty embarrassing, but I cannot peel the backs off of these little papers. I used to have acrylic nails and I don't anymore and my little stubby short nails are just not cutting it for getting the backs off these papers. I was having a heck of a time. But I did eventually prevail and get all those off there and was able to stick my little tree onto my tag here. And then I'm going to take a little star sequin that I had left over from some project ages ago and use a teeny tiny piece of foam tape to pop that on right above the tree to create a little something special for the star. And then because that sequin had a little hole right in the middle of it that I didn't like, I took a flat piece of confetti and used a micro glue dot to stick right in the middle of that star so you couldn't see that little hole. Plus I think it ties the green from the sentiment into the little scene there. So I like the way that that worked out. And then I'm going to take some sparkling green lawn trimmings here from Lawn Fawn and I'm going to just take a piece of that and snip it off and just thread it through the hole so that I have some super fun coordinating string to add this little tag to a pretty Christmas package. And that is going to complete the project for today. So thanks so much for stopping by you guys. You should definitely check out this stamp set before it's all gone. It's really super cute. If you like this video, please hit subscribe so you don't miss any more of the crafty fun. I'm going to put all the supplies that I used over at my blog, so go ahead and visit me there. And then here I've linked to a couple more videos. Um, one is lawn fun and one is just a fun embossing. Thanks, guys. Bye.